When it comes to your Helldivers 2 loadout, there are a lot of options, with even more on the way. Depending on what you pick, your build and playstyle can fundamentally change. Even within specific weapon archetypes, variations can completely shake up your gameplay experience. Today, we're talking about shotguns. A very specific shotgun, actually. And no, it's not the Breaker. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming. Let's dive in and take a close look at the SG-8S Slugger. So what's the goal here? Well, it's simple, really, to give you insight into various weapons within Helldivers 2. We'll talk about their stats, where they excel, and what shortcomings you might encounter if you choose to equip them as your primary. It's about understanding the weapon landscape and hopefully opening your eyes to something new so that you can do your part in spreading managed democracy to the galaxy. The shotgun archetype has a lot of options, more than any other weapon category currently in the game, with even more coming very soon. However, we feel that some of these are very overlooked despite being lights out options. The SG-8S is one such weapon. Unlocked on page 8 of the base warbond Helldivers Mobilize, this shotgun is the only one that fires high damage slugs. In fact, this is one of the highest damaging primary weapons in the entire game at the time of making this video. With a base damage of 280, it would at first appear to be lower than other shotguns, such as the Breaker but due to the fact that it has the ability to penetrate light armor and isn't spread out over numerous pellets, this weapon is probably the best elite killer in the game currently. Hive guards, brood commanders, bile spewers, devastators, doesn't matter. This thing will make short work of them if you hit the enemy's weak spot. Additionally, because it's a slug-based weapon, the slugger can actually perform well at long distance with pinpoint accuracy, making this a weapon not only potent up close, but equally as strong at both mid and even long range engagements. In fact, we fully recommend you keep some distance when using the slugger, since up close, you start to experience some of the gun's shortcomings. In terms of capacity, the slugger can hold up to 16 individual shells at a time, with a total reserve capacity of 60. This does mean reloading to full may take longer than swapping out a mag like other weapons, but it conversely means you can never waste ammo by habitually reloading mid clip. This also means in a pinch you can load a single shell and then fire a single shot dealing with an encroaching enemy, handy when the pressure is on. It's incredibly important to pace your shots with this weapon as the recoil can quickly get out of hand and since the slugger requires pinpoint accuracy, you'll want to sink into a rhythm between firing and compensating for the kick of the gun. Luckily the slugger doesn't have that high of a fire rate, so this should be relatively easy to manage. In terms of playstyle, things don't really change depending on the enemy or faction you're up against. The most important factor here when using the slugger is to keep your distance. As we've already mentioned, the gun has surprising range, and you'll be amazed at the headshots you can land from very far away. You can further embrace this by snapping into first person mode, granting you a really nice red dot sight to work with. As we said, brood commanders, hive guards, stalkers, it really doesn't matter, the slugger tears through their armor with ease, killing any elite enemy outright in just a few shots. While those specific terminids can be addressed with the slugger at nearly any range, the automatons do require you to keep your distance more consistently. But thankfully, that's not really an issue. Devastators and berserkers are your top priority, and you can kill them with one to two shots directly to the head, but you can also hit them in the body, staggering them. Larger threats like hulks, turrets, and tanks are also no match for the weapon, and if you aim for the vents, you'll realize just how quickly you can take them out of the picture. In this specific situation, you'll end up needing to get closer to the enemies, but it'll be worth the risk as you'll be able to kill some of the toughest automaton foes without ever calling in a stratagem. Regardless of what faction you're up against, guerrilla hit and run tactics are your best friend. Never stay in place for too long because that exposes the weapon's major weakness, pressure. Waiting for enemies to overwhelm or get too close will eventually put you in a bind with this gun. Your choice of stratagems should really take this into account, and if you make a smart choice, you have an option to offset that weakness. The slugger simply can address dense, light, ad clear, and heavily armored enemies. Stratagems like the guard dog rover, arc thrower, or even the machine gun will help you immensely in those high pressure, enemy dense situations, while orbitals, airstrike call ins, or even mechs can help with those larger armored threats. In the instance that a teammate can crack the leg of a charger for you, two to three well-placed shots in the exposed leg will take the beast out of the fight, and that is the true stopping power of the slugger. 
So there you have it, our analysis of the SG-8S Slugger. It's a great weapon and currently one of our favorite in the game. Is it perfect? No, but no primary weapon ever will be. Gone are the days of the overpowered breaker meta, and now it's about finding the nuance in each weapon, understanding how to exploit what's great about it, and making up the difference where it's weak. All in all, the Slugger is a great option for players that want a different style of shotgun, and hopefully you'll learn to embrace it just like we have. If you liked today's video and you want to keep in the know about all things Helldivers 2, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up, and consider subscribing. We'll be keeping close tabs on this game and with new content constantly being added, our team will be here to keep you up to date. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.